Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers and welcome to my channel. Now in today's video we are going to discuss this topic as you can see over here that we are going to learn how to integrate any function with respect to uh, trigonometric substitution and we commonly uh, we also call it a trig sub okay so let's have a look and well, we are having basically three types of trigonometric substitution and over here in this video we are going to discuss the very first type of it that is if you are having an integrand of this type let me write like for example if you are having I'm just trying to write down in general way that if you're having an integrand function such that such that your f of x is expressed like this for example something like this or x square upon a square plus x square or it would be under root means if it is having an appearance of this type actually either in the denominator or in the numerator then you are going to use you are going to replace or you are going to substitute uh, this uh, you're going to replace this x by means of a tan theta okay whatever the number you're going to have you see your a is basically an basically a constant value and it is a number so it is expressed in form of a whole square so you are going to replace this x by means of by means of this the product of this number into tan theta you can use any other uh, notation at the place of the angle of your tangent. It's your choice. So I'm just using here theta. So if you're having your integrand in which the appearance is coming of this type, either in the numerator or in the denominator, then you are going to use the substitution of this format. Okay. So and remember that A is a number. So you see, with respect to that, we are going to apply uh, the rest of the process uh, through the integration so let's have a look at, uh, to a very uh, relative example uh, involving this uh, this type so let's see like for example if I'm having a question they are asking us to integrate Okay, so this is a question and this is actually your integrand f of x and now you might be thinking that there is no involvement of x square here. So uh, how I'm going to handle such kind of thing over here. Let us assume first of all that let our exponential power 2x let this thing e power 2x that I can write as e x power square as well okay so uh, let me assume this e of x by by some other variable in the first step so uh, let me cancel out this thing this is this is just for the explanation so over here I'm going to apply the supposition and let my e of x is equal to for example I just take it as my t okay then I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to my uh, with respect to my x my original variable so on differentiating both sides with respect to x something like this and the derivative of your exponential function gives you exponential function back and then you're going to apply the chain rule on this uh, on this power of your exponential it gives you dx by dx equals to dt by dx this thing gives you one so ultimately 
becomes ex equal to dt by dx. And then I'm going to move this dx over here. So this is actually the reference of your u substitution. You can see one of my video, it's mentioned in the uh, description box uh, where there, how we apply the simple u substitution integration. So we have just taken the help of that methodology over here in this step to get rid of this format. Okay, so this is it. Now the place of my ex dx, I'm going to put my dt. At the place of my ex, I'm going to e power x, I'm going to put my t. So in this way, my this integrand is going to be written now as this ex dx is replaced by my dt and this is my one and ex whole square is going to be written as my t square okay now it is according to the format this okay so you can write that one is uh, can be interpreted as one square for convenience now this is your a square and this is your desired variable square to which your function is so expressed. Uh, so t is the independent variable here. So this is it. Now it is of the format of your type 1 trigonometric substitution. Now you are going to replace your variable t by means of a is your 1 here. So t is going to be replaced by 1 tan theta or simple tan theta all right so we are going to write it like this so now i'm going to assume that let my t is expressed as my a my a is one here okay it is going to be my a tan theta so one tangent theta is actually your tan theta so just for explanation that i'm mentioning one here basically it is this Okay, now you are going to differentiate both sides with respect to the variable t. This time my original variable is t here. So I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to this. So it is going to be dt by my dt, okay, like this. And it's going to be d tangent theta, all right? So this is actually your one. Derivative of your tan tangent is your secant square so it is going to be expressed as your secant square or sec squared theta and the argument uh, the variable present at the place of your argument is your theta so it, i'm going to apply my chain rule here so it is it, it it looks like this okay now this dt will move over here so this thing gives me that my dt is equal to secant squared theta d theta all right now over here i'm going to replace my dt dt by this okay and at the place of my t i'm going to substitute tan theta all right so let's move ahead and let's follow the pattern so okay so it is equal to this so let me rewrite it for example so uh, I wouldn't find necessary to move my camera time and again. So now it is integral of my dt is my sec squared theta d theta. All right, and this is at the place of my one, I'll put my one squared. At the place of my t, I'm going to write down my tan theta whole square, which can be written as tan squared theta, okay? So one square is one, one is square is one, one square is one, and you know the basic trigonometric formula that one plus tan square theta is your secant square theta. This formula, I'm going to take the reference, I'm going to take the help of this formula here. So at the place of this, I'm going to write down this thing. So secant squared theta is going to be in the denominator and now this thing is going to be cancelled out easily now the integrand is one no need to write down and d theta so once when you are having a unity integrand and on integration you're going to get this variable back so you are having theta plus some constant 
okay now you are going to restore your variables uh, in a manual way first of all you have to express your theta with respect to t and then you have to express your t with respect to your ex okay so one by one we are going to do this so initially you see your second substitution was this all right your t was equals to tan theta so theta will be equal to definitely tangent inverse of t okay so theta is my tangent inverse of t plus some constant and you know that your d was equals to your e power x so the finally i'm having this answer okay hope you've understood so uh if you uh, if you feel that this entire process of type 1 trigonometric substitution like if you're having an integrand of this type how you're going to handle it if you find this video helpful then i appreciate if you subscribe my channel hit on the like and put down your feedback in your comment box in my comment box not yours <laughs> obviously and share this video as much as you can with your friends and other learners and do let me know if you find this video helpful i'm really curious curious to know this all right so just take good care of yourself study well score good and allah hafiz